In this tutorial, I will show you how we can redesign our blog page and we can restyle our blog post in this way. So image will be in left align and on the right side will be all our post title, post content and read more button like this. And also I will show you how you can customize this style for mobile and tablet view like this. So it will look good for all screen. So now let's get started. First I'm taking a new section, I'm taking a regular section, I'm taking a single column row. Here I'm typing blog module. Yeah, so here my blog post is showing. Now I'm going to design tab layout here is two default layout style by DV one is grid layout this is grid layout and another one is full width layout so for this time I'm taking full width layout I'm saving it save it exit visual builder and now I need to add some CSS to style it so i'm going to right click inspect element and here is our featured image i'm taking it add new role and adding some css float left width 45 percent and margin right five percent yeah looks good or you can decrease it now save it copy rule and going to dashboard here I'm just saving my CSS here DV theme options and scroll down here I'm going to paste my CSS and save changes okay so now next step so here is our title here is post meta and here is post content so here we need to add some more spacing above the title so i'm selecting title add new rule and adding padding top to 30 pixel yeah 30 pixels looks good now copy it and save it and now we can add our read more button before this i'm just save changes and now going to enable visual builder again and now going to settings here is some elements here is show read more button and enable it here is read more button i'm going to design tab or directly going from here making the font style to uppercase text black and here we can add some css going to custom css and here is read more button we can make it display in line yes it's now here or typing in line block and here we can add some more css we can make it to background background black and we can change the color to white in that case and we can add some padding padding top 5 pixel and left right 15 pixel yes looks good and margin we can add some margin top 20 pixel yeah looks good and we can add some letter spacing 
and decrease the font size a bit and yeah it looks more good we can save it here you can add more style as per our need here you can decrease our text number for this i'm going to here here is excerpt length we can decrease it to 100 so now word number is decreasing in this way we can try it yeah it looks good we can also add some background color so now i'm just saving it as it is and exit visual builder now i'm going to check the mobile and tablet view yeah it's not good in mobile or tablet so let's try to do something different for our tablet so here first i'm going to make all these css for desktop only so for this i am adding a media query at media only screen and mean width to 768 pixel and we can put all these css here so all this style will work only with more than 768 pixel now i'm going to save it and refresh my page and when we make it smaller our width is now 722 and you can see the style is in default style and similar way we can select also different screen size so if we see here is 1100 for 1100 all is good we can make a different media query I'm just going to copy it and paste it and here is min with 768 pixel and we can add a max width 1100 pixel so here you can set some specific css for this width now here first I'm selecting this area and so here i'm removing this spacing above the title making it to zero copy rule and paste it here and here we can also decrease this text or we can hide it we can hide our meta text for this area display none copy it and paste it here and we can even also decrease this font size we can make it smaller font size 30 pixel or less 20 pixel save it i'm just trying to show you how we can customize our style according to screen size or we can do some of this from our builder here i'm just using css to make it quicker so i think it looks better now so now we can see this is our desktop view and when we make it smaller design style is changing and and here we can make all changes as per our need I'm just trying to show you how you can do this. I will leave all this CSS code in my description so you can just 
copy it from there and you can use it for your own design hope you understand the basic concept how we need to do this and hope this tutorial will help you if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find my tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial